Hello and welcome to this mind mapper tutorial from biggerplate.com. In this tutorial we're going to look at the ways you can format the topics and information within your mind mapper maps. We're going to look at how you access those options, what those options are, and then a couple of extra little features in mind mapper that are really useful to know about. So let's take a look. When it comes to formatting the topics in our mind map, we've got a number of different ways to bring up our options. The first and perhaps most obvious is up here in the main menu. You see we're in the home section here of the main menu. And if I slide along, you've got lots of options here for font formatting and then formatting the topic and other things itself. And we'll use all of those in just a moment. Another way we can access our formatting options is by right clicking on any topic and this is going to give us two routes as well. So the first is if we right click on a topic what you'll see here is this menu of formatting options appears right in front of us. So we've got options to format certain things right here within this quick access menu or alternatively we can look and right click and look for the format menu which is going to open up again a, just a different route to seeing some of the same options in front of us. So we've got three ways to arrive at our formatting options and now let's take a look at what those formatting options actually are. MindMapper software gives us loads of great options for formatting the color, the shape, the lines, the font and even more within our MindMap. So let's take a look at how some of those options work using some of those menu items that we looked at earlier. So for example, with the color of any topic, we can come up to this main menu, slide along here to the right, and you'll see we've got some really quick options here to change, for example, the fill color, so the background, if you like, for that particular topic. And also we can change if we want the line color to signal something different. We can also up here in this main menu, edit the shape of this particular topic. We can change it to something that maybe means something different or just to something that we think is a little bit tidier or more in line with how we want to style our mind maps. So we've got plenty of options to play with the color, the shape as we've just seen, and then also we've got options to play with the lines. So when it comes to the lines, we've got our, our options here to change the color, such as this. But if you notice this little drop down here, we've also got options to say uh, we want to show a shadow, which is already showing here actually. We've got options to show uh, different thickness of lines, so we might make certain lines thicker to stand out more. And we've also got options here at the branch style. So if we wanted something a bit more uh, direct, we could go for a straight line. And then when we add new topics, we've got more direct lines. Add another topic, you'll see we've got this straight lines as we wish. Now, if I come back to the menu up here for lines, and I say I want to change that branch style to be something a little bit different, you'll notice the lines change on the topics beneath. So we've got loads of options here in the software to change the lines, and of course we've got plenty of options as you can see up here in the menu for changing our font. In quick access we've got options to make things bold, we've got options to change the color, the size, and the font itself obviously. Now, as I said earlier, we've got lots of different routes to those same options. So we can access any of those same options from doing the right click. We've got some of these quick formatting options for the fill, for the line color right here in this quick access by right clicking. Or we can right click again and go to this format menu, which is going to pop open lots of uh, options for us to play with. We can play with all sorts of different, uh, again, those line styles, the color of uh, lines, the weight of the lines, all from within this menu, and then click apply to see those changes take shape. So lots of different options within mind map to really customize the style and, and uh, appearance of your mind maps or your branches. There's a couple of extra things to be aware of when it comes to formatting your mind maps in mind mapper. The first is there are a handy set of themes built into the software ready for use. So if we zoom out a little bit on our mind map here, just so you can see that theme uh, when it kicks in, what we can do is come up here into the design area of the main menu, and you'll see there's a huge set of map styles here already built into the software. Now some of these are to do with the shape and structure, but a good number of them are to do with the coloring and the theme. Plus you've got lots of different themes here that you can just drag down and you can see how that's going to appear and you can just choose whichever one you want. So let's go with that. And you'll see it's changed a lot of the coloring here on these main lines and just given it a certain theme. So if we undo that, we'll get back to where we wanted. But themes are a really nice way to apply some changes into the mind map, but have the software do the work for you and not have to worry about custom choosing everything in there. Another feature that mind mapper users really love is the ability to turn this mind map into more of a hand-drawn style of mind map. So to do that, we just want to select the central topic 
And then what we're going to do is come into the home menu and come across to this direction uh, option. Now the direction is really giving you loads of different choices here for different structures of mind map, but the one we're really interested in to demonstrate here is this one up here on the side that says change map to hand drawn mind map style. Now if you hit that you're going to get a very different style of mind map but much more in this hand-drawn style. Now you might need to do a little bit of uh, moving topics around so they're not overlapping anymore, uh, but you've got an option here of really making this feel a little bit more playful. It's maybe a great option to use if you're mind mapping with younger children uh, or students perhaps, as a way of just giving a little bit more playfulness to that mind map. So that hand-drawn style, really nice feature within MindMapper, quite a unique feature as well. That's not something you get in very many mind mapping programs, so well worth giving a try. Again, we find that up here in the Home and Direction menu, and then across here to choose Hand Drawn. So that's it. A quick look at formatting topics within your mind mapper maps. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please do subscribe here to our channel on YouTube. And for more resources to help you go further with mind mapping, just visit biggerplate.com.